What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Need for Speed Most Wanted 05. Now in this episode we are taking on uh, the next Blacklist rival, Blacklist number 7. And um, we've got um, got some new targets to hit. Total bounty 1,680,000 so kind of going to have to up our bounty game a little bit. Um, as usual let's go ahead and get the milestones out of the way first off. And actually you know what let me go back real quick because we have a new car. And not, not the Punto. Not the Punto. Uh, there it is. All right. And is nowhere near uh, the uh, the stats of my uh, of my Cayman. But I kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of interested in trying it out. Kind of interested in trying it out, to be honest. It's, I mean, it looks cool. And I don't know why there's Stillin stickers on a Mustang. Because Stillin's kind of a Nissan tuner. But... I don't know. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's let's give it a shot. See how it actually does. It, well, actually, you know what though? I do want to use my Cayman S for the um, for the bounty because it's already on a level three uh, heat, so it's uh, gonna be pretty easy to get those bounty milestones done. Now let's see. Uh, this, obviously, right off the bat, we're gonna do the uh, the um, speed camera challenges first. They get about 30, I think that one said 34,000 bounty, and I, it should be about the same for each one. We're out on the highway, so it shouldn't be that, uh, shouldn't be that hard as, at all to get up to that speed. Alright, where's this camera? Where's this camera they're talking about? I think I've, like, never been here. Seriously, though, I've, like, never been down there before, ever. Wow, they give us a huge run-up. Oh, yeah. Plenty. That was 170. That was plenty. And back to the safe house. And I just noticed we kind of have a new area of the map unlocked, don't we? We're in the, like, um, I don't know exactly what to call it. It's kind of like the deeper area of the city. It's like the downtown area. Okay, and yeah, they're all 34,000. Alrighty, they're all uh, 34,000 for uh, for each speed camera. So, that's... Yeah, that's over nine... That's over, yeah, over 90,000 total. Now, where did they put this camera? That's always the thing. It's like, where did they put the camera? You don't know until it's like right there. Sometimes they stick them in really annoying spots. Thankfully, this one's out on a straight. But some of them are, like, hidden around corners, and they can be really annoying. 166. Whoa, okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, don't forget about your speed breaker. Blah, 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 blah. Um, we're good. I know how to deal with roadblocks. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I know how to deal with roadblocks. Um, all right, get ready for the next speed camera. I think the next speed camera, we only have to hit it at like 111, but those actually kind of worry me. The ones that have a really low target, because those are usually trickier. See, look at all the corners in this one. Look at look at where it is on the map. So, the ones that actually have the lower speed requirements tend to be a little bit harder, because on the, the ones on the highway, you just, you know, you just floor it, and you're fine. But this one is like right after a corner, and you gotta be ready for it immediately. Which is why I'm saving up my nitrous, actually. Oh yeah, plenty. Plenty at 127. Yes, yeah, not bad. Not bad. A little drift. Alrighty, so that's all the speed cameras done, and we only need to complete one more milestone to get all the milestones done uh, for this rival. Now, let's see. We want to do a... Uh, cost to state would be easy. Might as well just do that one. Because that one will be easy, and it gets us a lot of bounty. And we may be able to, because we're, because, bleh, since we're going to be in a pursuit anyway, which is what I meant to say in the first place, since we're going to be in a pursuit anyway, we can just try and get all the other milestones too while we're at it. So we've got the cost of state, a, um, oh, evade in at least three minutes, and then, I don't know if that's like a bounty requirement, I'm not sure. Um, come on. We might actually just go ahead and do the, uh, the, um, 
uh, what's it called, the escape in uh, in less than three minutes one. Because we're like really close to being able to do that anyway. Uh, there's no, there's no spots anywhere nearby. Oh, yes there is. Yes there is. Oh, perfect. I haven't been, I, have, I remember this section though. I haven't been in here in a really long time, but I remember it. No way, is there a cop down here in the, uh, in the river? No way, okay, there's no way a cop's down here in the river. They're, like, up there, up somewhere above the river. We're good. We're good. There's a cooldown spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hiding. Almost there, almost there, and... Boom! We got that, and that wasn't hard whatsoever. Already up to a million four hundred fifty thousand bounties, so not bad at all. And that's four milestones complete already. So we can actually just uh, let's see. All right, so we got the milestones completed. Um, let's go ahead and get some of the races out of the way. So, oh, there's a drag race. Okay, we can get that done pretty quick. As long as there aren't any vans to break for, <laughs> as long as there aren't any vans to break for, we should be okay. But if there are, eh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, dang, we're going up against vets now. Yes, perfect launch and per Oh, well, good shift, not a perfect shift. Perfect shift. Whoa, dang. The right lane, thank you. And the left. Back to the right. Like, you're dancing right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That, yep, that van. It's always the vans. It's always the vans. I am I'm serious, guys. It's always the vans that mess you up. But now I know that he's getting the right lane and not the left. Launch. Perfect shift. Get over in front of this vet. All perfect shifts so far. And now I know that we need to stay over to the right. They definitely need to stay over to the right for that van. Say, I mean, not right. Why did I say right? I meant left. I meant left. God, that was a... Oh, my God. That cement truck was, like, right there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> These drag races are intense. They are so intense. The perfect launch. Ooh, over rev. That's not good. Wasn't good at all. Wait for it. There we go. Really? You just got in front of me? Cool. Cool, man. Real cool. Really? How do you go out on the sidewalk? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, far on the outside. Oh, no, 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 you stupid little hatchback. Little Hyundai or whatever. I don't even know what they... I don't even know, like, what, what they're supposed to be modeled after. Might be a Hyundai, maybe not. I don't know. I know them as little annoying hatchbacks because they mess up drag races for me. Oh my god. This is so frustrating. So frustrating. Oh my god. They're fun, but they're frustrating. I feel like the developers had fun with being evil with all the traffic they put on these drag races. They were like, oh yeah, let's just be evil and make them as hard as humanly possible. Stanley. Oh god, I did not know you could go out there. Really, minivan? You weren't there last time? There wasn't a traffic car there last time. Okay, I'm gonna stay far to the right side this time to try and go behind the cement truck. Well, that was a bad launch. Stay left, stay left, stay left. Now stay right. Far right. Nope, okay, far right is apparently not going to work. Well, no, you know what? It will work if we break just a little bit. If we break just a little bit, we'll be fine. Launch. You 
you gotta learn like all the little uh, auto steer points because the drag races you have auto steering but you gotta memorize all the steering points which can be kind of tricky at times yes there we go just required a little bit of braking stupid little edge back there's the finish and boom Ooh, finally finally dang Sweetheart, it's Razor. In your push to get to me, you smoked a lot of drivers that had nothing to do with what happened to you. Now, I know you want me. But hey, I'm gonna tell you something. Most of them guys are willing to do anything it takes to make you pay. You should remember that when you're rolling in Rockport. God, you're annoying, Razor. <laughs> Alrighty, back to the safe house. To, uh, to start a hopefully much easier race. <laughs> I mean, yeah, those drag races may be short, but they're really complicated. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a, I'm thinking a sprint race. It's a really long one, though. Dang, that's, does it tell you? 7.7 .7 miles. That's decently long. Not horribly, horribly long. It's not, you know, like the, it's not like basically a Goliath race where it's the, you know, the entire... Um, length of the world, but it's not short either. What? A Mercy Lago? That's not fair. That is not one bit fair. Open launch. I can hear it too. Dang, I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. Jeez. Little bit of speed breaker. Boost out of it. Oh yeah, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. I blocked him off, but like then, dang, he was he was going for it. Yeah, they've passed me, or at least one of them has on the other side. Let's see if I can get this lead back. He's right there. Okay, it's the Evo, it's the Evo. It's kind of a dirty move, but whatever. It's an arcade racer. You use dirty moves in arcade racers. Really just gotta keep this pace. If I can keep this pace, I'll be fine. Do not drop the pace. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're not getting off the exit, which is really... Wow, we're over 200! Oh my god! I didn't even realize this thing could actually do that, even with upgrades. Oh god, we're sideways. Way too sideways. Okay, yeah, that, that needs a restart, because we were done. We were done. I don't know why I even thought to use Speed Breaker. It didn't even make sense to me after thinking about it. Not not one bit of sense, so... I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know why we did that. No Speed Breaker that time, which is good because we can save it up for when we actually need it. Take this side because I think it's faster. Dang it, pickup truck! Oh my god. Really hoping that they get snagged on some of those cars, but no, it looks like that Evo's coming. It looks like he's really going for it. He's really putting the pressure on. But nah, we got this. We're good. Because now that I know that this thing can crack 200, that's insane. I mean, maybe with the help of the, you know, with the help of a little bit of a downhill grade, yeah, but still, it's over 200 miles an hour. The thing is, even, I'm surprised that the gearing can handle it. You know, that it's not just bouncing off the red line. No, the gearing can actually handle it. The gearing could take more. Maybe. Well, actually, I take that back. The gearing probably couldn't take that much more. Gearing's really maxed out right now. 208 miles an hour at about, like, what, 7,500 revs? Yeah, it's kind of maxed. Save the speed breaker for corners like that. Because that's when you really need it. Oh! Looked away from my screen, which is a bad idea. Come on. Oh, they're right back there. I see him. I see him. Oh, dang. Here comes that Evo. He is really putting the best pressure on now. No! 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 Go away, Evo! Go away! And that Mercy is there, too. Dang, 
And when somebody gets ahead of you in this game, it, it can be uh, sometimes it's easy to get that place back, but sometimes it can be really hard and really annoying too. So, oh, massive crash. They all screwed themselves up. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay, how did he recover from that that quickly? Because I know for a fact that if I had hit that, and like, if a, well, if, not just me, if any, any player had hit that, it would have taken a whole lot longer to recover. A whole lot longer. Ooh! Jeez! Well, somebody screwed up. Yeah, somebody screwed up. Somebody hit a traffic car. I don't know who it was, but... Come on, we can claw these places back. Come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, jeez. Underneath the highway. We took the underside of the highway. The other dude took the um, overpass. Or the soup. Yeah, the Subi took the overpass. him is basically a, a cornering bumper. tracks those train tracks are so scary they always scare you because they it's like they always it's either like i feel like i'm gonna mess up because of them or like i feel like they're gonna mess up like my car's handling balance and they're gonna send me flying i don't know what it is but it's just like they always freak me out there's the finish and boom that is yeah that is a win that is a win that was pretty intense though and a perfect jump just right at the end of it perfect perfectly straight too all right, let's head back to the safe house and see what else we have to do. All right, now for the races, we've got, yeah, we've got two done. So next, let's do this, uh, let's do this toll booth. Let's do this toll booth. It's not that long, 6.4 miles, so shorter than that sprint. And we don't have any other drivers to worry about, which is nice. Really, really nice. Come on. Yeah, I know that shortcut's not available. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Just depends on what they decide to block off for each race. Whoa, whoa, God. Those corners where the car jumps around, they can freak you out because sometimes they send your car into these weird slides that are hard to manage. Not slides, really, but just like they can almost tip your car over. Because the suspensions in this game are actually weirdly bouncy. I don't know what the deal is with that, but they just... I don't know, they just are. It's weird. Hopefully you weren't planning... Uh, hopefully you weren't planning to enjoy your lunch at one of those tables, because uh, you will not be enjoying lunch at any of those tables anytime soon, and I have spun out. Yep, that's me. Black Porsche, that's me. They know where I am. Well, they don't know where I am, but they know what I'm driving. Still with some time to spare, so we're alright. Dang, it's those train tracks again. They just love to keep throwing those train tracks at me. Uh-oh. Oh, God. We're gonna have to handle this checkpoint race. With level 3 GTO cops? Okay, this is going to be hard. This is going to be tricky, guys. I'm telling you right now, this will be tricky. That's 2 out of 4 checkpoints. Or toll booths. Toll booths. It's like, it's kind of weird to pronounce. Because you want to you wanna say, you want to say toll booths. But then a lot of people say toll booths. So, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a weird, it's just one of those weirdly pronounced words. Come on. Oh, God, the barrel. I hate those barrels so much. He just he got he was he went up like he was gonna ram me and then he just backed off. One more checkpoint or toll booth. Come on, come on. Please don't let these cops mess me up because these level three cops. This is when it gets scary. I mean, if we stay in this too long, we're gonna touch level four, and I honestly don't want to touch level four yet. I really don't, because I have a feeling that this Cayman might not be uh, ready for level four. That that Mercedes CLK that you know that the next Blacklist rival has, it, her, her Mercedes CLK that would be able to touch it, yeah. But um, I don't want to go in, into uh, level four until I have a um, 
a faster and more powerful car like that CLK. Wow, they all took the other side of the road, really? All right, there's the finish. Who's for it? Come on, they're all right back there. Perfect snapshot for the end, too. Perfect snapshot for the end. Now we gotta escape, and hopefully we can escape before we actually get into level four, because I do not, like I said before, not want to get into level four. If any of them try to follow me down here, that'll take them out. Really? They were already on the other side, too? Dang. That's surprising. And a bit worrying. 10 4, Charlie 2. Detailing units now. Dang, they're spawning all over the place. They're like angry hornets or something. Oh, they took each other out. I love it when they do that. I love it when they do that. It's awesome. It's like they do the work for me. That's awesome. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I wanted to go that other direction, but you know what? We could forget about it now. Because I'm not turning around. I am not going to risk turning around. Absolutely not. Now, they had no idea I was going this way, did I? Did they? No idea. Oh, cost of state challenge complete. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get out of here before they box me in. Oh. Dang, that is scary. None of these, none of these pursuit breakers are like on the general route that I'm taking. Well, this one is, this one is, is the donut shop? Yes, it is. I love that one. That should have taken out a ton of them. It took out all of them? Well, except for this one. Back to my hiding spot. Let's see if it'll work this time. Please, 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 please work. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. Oh, that is so perfect. Oh, my God. All right. Woo! I love how this spot confuses cops. I don't know if it's like a glitch or if it's some kind of other... I don't know if it's just like they, they get confused by the uh, like the multiple levels in the uh, in the bus station, or if like I said, or if it's a glitch. But either way, I'll take it because it works perfectly, and it also means that we will not have to go into a level four just yet, which I am so pleased with. Because level fours, once you get up into level four, it gets scary. It gets scary. The scariest though is when they send out Cross. Cause I don't know if that's level five or if there is a level six, but uh, because I haven't I haven't gotten up to those level uh, heat levels in a really long time, but whichever heat level that they send out cross in is really scary. I mean, it is it is insanely scary, and that is that pursuit done. We most likely got the bounty. Uh, well, almost. We've almost got all the bounty we need. Almost, almost. We're close. Not quite there, but close. Let me see actually what, what else we have left to do. We have, we got all the milestones complete. We need, uh, so we basically need around 100,000 more, uh, bounty. So, and we also, how many races do we have? Three out of seven. So, the targets for the next episode are going to be to complete the next four races and also get that bounty and, um, and possibly if we can, also, uh, also, um, take her on and see if we can get her car so if you guys enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you guys later